Hello guys, welcome to Hot Ninja Entertainment. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Anytime when they come across this video. And guys, if this is your first time passing through this YouTube channel, don't forget to support this channel by hitting the subscribe button and on the bell icon and share this video. God bless you as you do so and God bless my subscribers and my followers on Facebook. I know the way we take the analyzer here now. The way we take see the matter. And so we take the table round. Our leaders have failed us. We must act now before it is too late. Said by Father Mbaka. Hello guys. Hello people. Welcome back to another segment here yeah, with Hot Ninja Entertainment. Greetings viewers all over the world. My country people. Now, I promise us how they give an update where they go for this our country called Nigeria. As the report they reach my hand now. So I'll tell you they come here where this Reverend Father. Where this reverend for the verse say our leaders, our leaders don't fade this country woefully. They don't fade this country. <laughs> so most of our leaders and most of them need to resign. Like this man called President Buhari, this man need to go. May this man resign because you know they even the act. You know they act like president. If like I say this country, when we just did so, eh, we not get president for this country. So guys, I will leave the video to play, but before we jump into this video, if this is your first time passing through this YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and on the bell icon so that whenever I drop any video, you will be the first person to see it. So guys, without wasting much time, guys, let's drive. Like God will ask Nigerians, Nigerians, why are you crying? We are crying because our leaders have failed us woefully. Let me tell you, if it is in a civilized country, by now, President Buhari will resign. Put me anywhere and let the whole world hear it. By now, with what is happening, President Muhammad Buhari should honorably resign. We are crying because we don't have a shepherd. All those that will fight what I'm saying now will eventually suffer the rot. If you can't do it, either you resign or you'll be changed. A good coach cannot watch his team defeated. When you have players sitting down watching on the bench, Either Buhari resigned by himself or he will be impeached. This statement is too mi mysterious and supernatural. I know that many people begin to fight it. And back at the day, not pray for Buhari. Did someone not anoint Saul? What are you talking about? Am I the creator of Buhari? God created him. Nigerians trusted him because he did well sometime. But now, how can people be dying? The chief security officer consulting of lies of the country will be sitting down, not making any comments. Gunmen attacking everybody everywhere. Amen. Why are you crying, Nigerian youths? As I said, overseas have become dumping ground for our ingenious youths. Young men, young doctors, lawyers, everybody running away from Nigeria. Countries we are better off. I'm just coming back from airport to this place. 
you need to visit a boy. The former Abakiriki is not my Abakiriki. Ha! Even the leaders of Enugu State should wake up. Because by the time Anambra State has her own cargo passengers airport and a boy has her own airport, I don't know the reason why people should be coming to Enugu apart from prayer here. So if anybody speaks about development, let the government not begin to attack the person. They should change. People with the mega, mega resources a boy is getting, a boy will have mega projects. Fly over here and there. International centers. Anambra is involving 10,000 centers international conference center. If I refuse to say the truth, the Holy Spirit will attack me. So far, I'm back around is back I am rolling. Back to what I'm saying. What is the matter? Nigerians are crying. Why? Because there is no security in this country. House of Reps and Representatives should impeach the president if he doesn't want to resign. Number two, if the members of the house, these two houses do not want to impeach him and they want to begin to fight for the Mbaka, something worse than what they never imagined will happen to the members of the House of Senate and members of the House of Reps. Disaster is coming. A message released many years ago. Until the government of this country finds something useful for our youth, they are going to face disaster. A time is coming when, if you are asked to be a governor, a senator, a House of Rights member, a House of Representatives, whatever, you will begin to run. Because I'm trying to tell you that we cannot continue like this. The leaders have suffered the youth. Now it's time for the, civ the civilians, the ordinary people, to suffer the leaders. Enough of this rubbish show. Most of the reasons why you come here for prayers are not prayer projects. These are what the, the, the government should supply. To buy one cup of rice now, to buy one cup of curry, to cook one pot of soup for a family, to pay for house rent, even to import your project, product from abroad, taxation has doubled how much? International communities cannot come to Nigeria to invest anymore. Are we living or are we dying? God is asking, what is the matter? I, as a servant of God, am telling God what is the matter. Let him change our leaders for us. How can somebody become a billionaire from what belongs to all of us? And those who have the money are begging. Many mothers here cannot change pampas for their children. Our young ladies are thinking of going into prostitution. But who is going to prostitute you? Young men have not been doing. And what is happening has evolved a satanic culture of immorality in, in the issue of occultism and idolatry. Young men now have started visiting native doctors, preparing charms. The job of the government is now to be killing people, calling them terrorists, instead of giving them jobs. People should go to farm, they should farm, 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 farm. After farming, his men will go and eat the cross. And his men will not be branded terrorists. Last week it was in nowhere, jailbreak here and there. We never heard of such things that are happening now. But if the government will not sit up and do what they should do, 
begin to roll out the money in the bank, preparing for 2023. That 2023 may not come. It will be a story of tragedy. I pray that the church leaders will understand me as a messenger of God and not begin to fight me because the danger is going to affect the church. When gunmen begin to strike inside the church, they will begin to kill one man of God or the other man of God and kill members in the church. Who will go to church again? The priests will lose their jobs. The bishops will lose their jobs. So you better keep quiet or you support what I'm saying. Because it's evolving from the order of truth and righteousness. Everybody will soon be affected. How can our children be killed? Any, any, just listen, you hear about killing. Nobody is safe again in this country. Do you think you are safe? Ask your neighbor, do you think you are safe? Do you think you are safe? Nobody is safe. Only God is protecting us. Haga, what is the matter? Why is Ishmael crying? Why should Ishmael not cry? Abraham was a very rich man. Abraham had everything it takes to settle Ishmael and Haga. Why should Abraham give only one bottle of water to Ishmael and Haga? Why should they not cry? We are crying because we are dehumanized. We are crying because we are intimidated. Our rights have been denied us. Opportunities that belong to our fellow Nigerians have been denied. Those we send to represent us are using our names to make themselves billionaires. They are using our wealth to buy structures outside the country. What does it take to fix power in this country that industrialization will spark up? We have millions and millions of graduates doing nothing. And the leaders are not ashamed. What industrial projects have they created? Why should a mother and father, after training their children, continue to feed the children they, they train? When I heard in Psalm 128 verse 2, the Bible is saying, you shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands, and it shall be well with you. Are our parents now eating the fruit of the labor of their hands? They got in the real room by Ibarra. You can imagine why our parents are dying young. Teachers are not well paid. Even the policemen and the military are not taken care of. How do they have the infantry and the courage? So begin to protect the subjects. If you are killed as a police or a, a military man, nobody takes care of your family. What type of country is this? Shall we continue like this? As far as I'm concerned, I can never support terrorism. Neither will I allow you to brand our children terrorists when they are not. If some people broke the prison in a way, if you caught those who, who, who broke them, arrest them, interrogate them. It may be possible that no human being broke that cell. It could be a jailbreak from God. It happened in Acts of Apostles chapter 5. There was a jailbreak. Nobody was arrested. God can set the prisoners free. So for people to begin to go around and begin to kill our young men without trying them is evil. I'm just warning our governor, so it's not a matter of go and warn for Ambaka. Go and warn for Ambaka. He has started again. Are you the one who ordained me a priest? Are you the one who ordained me a prophet? Did you ordain me a king? Are you the owner of my mouth? If you when you were doing well, was I not clapping for you? 
Now my fellow Nigerians are dying like rats. Without anybody caring for them. God is angry with our leaders. From Buhari to the last. God's anger is upon you. You have failed God. How can you just open your mouth like what hope most of them is doing in Nimbus State? Somebody who came here and put his hand on this altar and swore he will protect the life of the Immolites is now organizing the killing of the same Immolites and he wants me to keep quiet. I was keeping quiet until the blood of my brothers are being shed. Never. And whoever will support that will suffer. How can the military, the police, the SS, how is it difficult for you to arrest one person? What of if the person you kill is innocent of what he's accused of? You kill the consul, you are parading his body all over, as if to say you have done whatever. Go and kill poverty. Kill poverty for us. Kill unemployment for us. Kill insecurity for us. You know how to kill wicked people. Thank you for watching that video. And guys, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in my next video.